Hello and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Dokkan Bell video. I'm Goki and today we're going to be talking about the Realm of Gods team. Now the Realm of Gods team is a meta team. It's a whale team. It's powerful. There's not a lot of free play options that you can run a straight team and they'll dominate, but there are a ton of pay to win options. So for those who have gotten lucky over the years and have gotten lucky throughout this 2020, moving into 2021 for the six year anniversary, we're going to go ahead and dive in right now using Dokkan Bell Optimizer. Let's go ahead and check out the video. So we're here. Easy, Do Combat Bell Optimizer, boom, we're in here. I've made a mock team for you guys. This is what it's gonna look like for like a convoluted, heavy Saiyajin Jiren mix up. So, uh, the best leaders for this is uh, obviously a few characters here. We're gonna go ahead and knock some of these guys down. Let's get rid of some of these, and we're gonna go ahead and show you the leaders right now. It's Ultra Instant Goku Sign, Zamasu, and the last one is Beerus. We're gonna go ahead and tackle. Goku's team first. Now, Goku team needs Overton Flash, Prepare for Battle, or Tournament Power. Either one he'll work well with, but he also wants a Orb Maker and uh, maybe someone to support him fully. So the interesting thing about this Goku in particular, his best friend is probably himself, but the issue is he's an STR. Having too much of the same types is an issue. Like I showed you the example previously, and the reason why I feel like it's so Bleh is it's too much of the same type in SBR you'll get eaten up if you're against weak type and you don't have positive type against it or advantageous type of against it so we're going to stray away from this so here we are we're gonna pick Ultra Instant Goku and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the many different options so this Goku right here received an EZA recently and the EZA is a very strong supportive function so this is one unit that we're going to definitely take with us, but we're going to go ahead and make a Torment of Power variant or maybe like a mixed match variant like I did before. So we're going to go ahead and use probably the Tech Vegeta Blue to add some color difference. We're going to go ahead and add for us, not for SDR, for uh, Int, we're going to add this Vegeta to add support to the team and for the physical the only option we have is the blue bros so we're gonna have to take blue bros here and because they have tournament power they can work well with ultra ultra instant goku we have vegeto here or oh, wait actually hold on rewind we have the access to one of the best easy aid tur's in the game vegeto blue so Vegito Blue and the non-transformed Vegito Blue are best friends together. You can stick them on the same rotation and you can have that Vegeta float around for that additional support as Vegito Blue and Vegeta's main links for key are prepared for battle. So we're gonna go ahead and add more on top of this. We're gonna go ahead and add this AGL Goku that now gives additional, additional uh, damage output, uh, extra chance to crit, He's very good now. He's very, very strong. Uh, we will be getting his EZA eventually. Not as fast as JP, but hopefully it will be coming to us soon. And uh, until then, you can go ahead and farm the metals for him so that it's a lot easier to awaken him once it comes out. Because we all know grinding those metals can be a pain, especially once we've already grinded them once before. So moving on, the other Realm of Gods is uh, characters that you would also fit with Goku. So now we're now that we have all five types established, we can now add a varying type. We can add maybe an, another STR unit like this STR Goku. Maybe we can add another tech unit like maybe Jiren to add to give Goku that tournament power addition. Or maybe we can add this Tech Opai Kai. Or maybe we want to add this West Supreme Kai who also gives more crit. Uh, she's a little bit of a weaker option. But then we also have uh, characters like uh, Gogeta you want to add maybe. Or maybe you want to add, let's see, this Vegeta. Or maybe you want to add the Goku, the STR, uh, this Tech Goku that changes orbs and stuff against movie bosses. Uh, you won't be fighting movie bosses as much. So I think maybe not. But definitely... You could move him over and have 
a character like maybe Kabido Kai, or maybe you can have an overall flash character and then you can just have it be this Goku right here. I would recommend this is how you build it for the most part, for the most part. So the reason why I say this is once we get Ultra Instinct mastered and we want to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, as we're speculating for the Evolved, the Goku is kind of most likely concerned, uh, like 100% confirmed at this point. Once we get those two, this team actually evolves. This changes. You can drop Vegito, you can add UI Goku Mastered, you can drop Vegito Blue, and you can add the uh, you, uh, the SBE Evolved Vegeta. You can carry both Gokus at the same time to give them links and have them link, and you can have his active skill effect active at all times, and you can swap the leaders. And it's still a Realm of Gods team, but with all nothing but Universe 7 characters, so it gives you some build flexibility. So. What you want to do is you want to be able to add units that can go ahead and give you build flexibility. So in this case, our friend unit will in fact be UI Goku. So that's a lot of red. It's a red heavy. So if you want to mix it up, you can go ahead and cut this Goku and you go can pick Zamasu. You can cut the Zamasu and you can go ahead and pick maybe um, Beerus. So if you're not exactly in the market for the absolute perfect team, this team is super strong. It's like super powerful. This team is bonkers. It's amazing and uh, it's very, very useful, especially in the SBR, SBR sorry, and Legendary Goku event because Vegeta infinitely stacks. Uh, Goku is just really good dodging all the time. He becomes a tank once he starts once he starts building everything up. Vegeta becomes a monster once he builds up everything. Uh, Vegito Blue, the physical one, is amazing once he just sits in the second slot, supers a bunch of times, and then starts countering like nonsense. And then the Goku obviously is really good, especially if you have the appropriate teammates to use his active skill and abuse the living hell out of it. Very, very good card, very, very powerful. So that is one form of the team. We're gonna go ahead and now look at Beerus's version. So Beerus's version is a little different. Beerus relies on Things like Shocking Speed, Connoisseur. So Beerus is a little bit more unique than the Saiyajin version. Beerus, in in fact, you know, Beerus is, you know, he's Beerus has got a good active skill. He's got some good effects. If he takes damage, he becomes tankier and does more damage overall. So he wants to stay in the first slot because he wants to take that damage. He overall has pretty good damage. But on top of that, Beerus has a partner already in Whis. But outside of that, you have Jiren and Topo as also best buds for life on this team. And then you can add this Kai, and then you can add this Kai. Look at all that floating support and damage. And then you add a Beerus to top it off so this Beer Beerus can actually float. So the the links that you'll see for most parts is they have shocking speed. As you can see here, they have shocking speed and they have connoisseur. You, you, you look at this link here, right? It's only godly power, but she's also giving key. You know, she's also giving key. This is what this guy does. Shocking speed, speed, Supreme Warrior, Tournament Power, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. Now you have Beerus, and there is a balance of elements outside of tech, uh, or not tech, but Int. Uh, it's because Int is probably Beerus' weakest element. If you were to put Int in this team, you would probably cut her and probably put Vegeta because he's probably the best Int character out of there or you can put Vados so if you put Vados uh, Vados actually buffs anything with sibling bond and realm of gods and master disciple bond master disciple I forgot what the last one was but she definitely affects links here and she definitely affects uh, anything here she can float uh, if you want you can actually pair her and Mies together and have Beerus float uh, because Beerus gets benefit from floating on both rotations and him being the last attacker He will always get support no matter where he lands So there's multiple ways to play this team and this team is is like legit bonkers This team is super good and it's almost just as good as Saiyajin version people very underestimate this version of the team uh, So if you have access to these cards, I would say go ahead and build it. You can absolutely 
probably swap out this Jiren for the STR one, but then you'd be running ver something very STR heavy. So yeah, you might want to avoid something like that. And then last but not least, we're going to take a look at the Zamasu. Zamasu build. The Zamasu build is a unique build. And it's an interesting build because his synergy is actually very good, but the end results of all of it is very, very weak. So the reason why I say that is because Zamasu's LR needs one, an update. A lot of his things are not as strong as they used to be. And this is what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and use the leader. Uh, for Zamasu, we're going to use, you know, Realm of Gods, and then we're going to add every possible thing we can. It's also a very expensive team to run. So I'm going to show you right here. It's a very, like, chonkers team to run. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's hard to run, actually. And I actually don't like this Goku Black. I like the one on Global. This is Global exclusive, but if it's JP, you can run. You can definitely run the Int one. But if you're playing on global, you can definitely run the physical one because I think it's better. It feeds more orbs, it creates orbs, it makes it very, very powerful to the end of the day. And then uh, finally, I believe you can go ahead and stick. There's one more Zamasu that you can have that's uh, floating around. Oh, there we go. So uh, Zamasu.team, uh, this is it right here. Or you can actually, if you want, you can take Easy Aim or Zamasu with you. Uh, and have no uh, real balance, I think. Um, are we missing a type right here? No, I think we have all. Uh, int, tech, S here. No, we're missing agility. So, um, this is pretty much it. No, we have agility right here. And then your leader will be right here. Uh, this is kind of an insane team. Uh, these are like best buds for life. And uh, once, uh, if you're running the inversion, if he tell, uh, transforms, he shares almost every link. But right here, Big Bad Bosses, uh, Dismal Future, Fair and Faith, Fierce Bell, Kamehameha, very, very powerful. And then you have uh, this guy over here, Dismal Future, Fair and Faith, Godly Power, Nightmare. Uh, over here, he's sharing links again. He's still getting three key overall. Three key here, plus 15%. Another three key. You know, overall, getting uh, tons of things for him to use, for him to work. Uh, with link levels, this team is actually very, very strong. But the teams prior to that I showed you guys are actually a lot stronger without links. Uh, this one requires links, I personally believe, to be very powerful. So, uh, those are three examples of teams you can use for Realm of Gods. Uh, the first one and the second one can definitely fit UI Goku and SB, SSBE Vegeta. But this one is just a fun niche team that you can run. Uh, just call it Team Ningen. And uh, you're good to go. So if you guys make it to the end of the video, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you want more guides like this. And for my next guide, go ahead and comment down below which team do you want to see. I'm thinking about doing one of the weaker teams. If you want to see a Battle of Wits, which is really strong team actually. Battle of Wits, we're going to choose Majin Buu Saga or we're going to choose... Uh, Vegeta's family because SB, SSBE is a big deal to me because Vegeta is finally getting some glory hopefully so between those three teams go ahead and type up right down in the chatter box below uh, how you guys want this delivered uh, what you guys are looking for and what kind of teams I can help you guys build so without further ado hit that smash button I mean not the smash button the like button you're not allowed to smash me. All right, relax. Calm down. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Discord, Twitter, Instagram, all that nonsense. Twitch down, down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.